Hi, today we're going to apply credit memos, returns, and payments in the payables module that are already posted but not applied to invoices. And there are two ways to do this. One is to do it as a transaction and the other way is to do it while you are creating your check file. So let's do the first way, doing it as a transaction. In the purchasing window, under transactions, I'll choose apply payables documents. And then I'll select a vendor that has a credit memo out there. And in the top right hand corner, I'll see the document number and I could do a look up and see every document that decreases the vendor balance. So I'll select one of these documents. Now down below, I see every document that increases the vendor balance and I'll go ahead and apply it. And just as in the edit check window, you can see the original amount and the total unapplied amount and click OK. The second way is to apply it while we are printing checks. So I'll click on edit check. I'm going to enter in my batch and I'll put in a vendor. I'll go to my apply window and now this is the way you'd normally do it. You say I want to pay this invoice. But also this is the exact same window we were in just a moment ago. I can click on the lookup glass while I'm keying in this transaction and see everything that reduces the vendor balance here. And as you can see in this case I have two credit memos that are not applied. I can see the original amount and the amount remaining. So I'll select that and go ahead and apply it to this invoice. And then I can select the second one as well. And then click OK. And now I'm applying that while I'm printing an invoice. Now both of these methods the invoice and the credit memos will appear the next time you do a check. And if you do not want them to, you can click on check stub and designate which items you do not want to appear on the check stub. Great. Hope this helps.